What is your favorite book? My favorite book is Call Me By Your Name. Can you tell me a bit about the story about it? What is the book about? Um, it's about a family in Italy and when Arthur visits them during the holiday and it's kind of like an entire love story about um, two men. My favorite book is 12 Rules for Life by Jordan Peterson. Well, it's, the book is divided into 12 chapters in which he uh, discusses 12 different rules and every rule is a very different story. Is this something that you've learned from the book or perhaps maybe inspired you? Well, what I really like about that book is that it's kind of a unique story. You don't um, see it very often and it's really about being yourself and um, yeah, just a story about freedom and expressing yourself. There's a lot of things that I've learned from the book. Um, I think the most is just to get most out of your life and focus on being the person who you want to be. And is it like a, a real life situation where you've actually applied that? Well, personally not, but I have seen quite similar situations in my uh, friend groups and family. So it's something that you can see in real life. Uh, one of his rules is um, compare yourself to who you were yesterday and not to someone else is today. And that makes me always think that I want to be a better person than if I was yesterday. Yeah, definitely. I would definitely recommend it. I think it's a great book for everyone to read. So, what is your favorite book? Um, well, I don't really have a favorite book because I don't read uh, that much. Uh, but the last book I've read is uh, about construction mechanics. So, that's something I can tell something about. Okay, so, what do you actually study? Civil engineering at the, at the TU Delft. So, my favorite book is Eat, Pray, Love by Elizabeth Gilbert. Uh, so, it's about a woman who's fed up with her life and she goes on, she goes traveling and she goes to three different countries and she just explores the place and lives everywhere. It's basically that. It's about um, different forces on, uh, for example, uh, the craftsmanship, how the different forces uh, works on the, on, the, on the point on the craftsmanship and where the, the forces are going to, for example. So it's quite technical. Calculating, yeah, it's very technical. So uh, actually how the, the physics work in, in steel and bridges, I think it's interesting. Yeah, I mean, I'm fed up with my life, so I can just leave any time. <laughs> So that's something that I really want to do basically, just live in a few places and learn about the place and stuff. So that's something I want to do in my life. So. Is yeah. this something that you've, well, you've learned from it? Like, uh, yes, it gives you some knowledge about how bridges are working and uh, just structures. Um, yeah. So you're looking different to, to what you see in real life. It's just my thesis work, it's just very hectic, so. Okay, so what do you study? Uh, I'm doing environmental engineering, masters. That's a team. Yes. So would you recommend the book to others? Uh, well, I do. If you think it's 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 interesting, yes. It's difficult, so uh, you've got to know where you where you begin uh, where you begin. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but it's interesting, yes. Okay. Of course, yeah. I think almost all women should read it. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. So, what is your favorite book? Um, my favorite book is about uh, a Dutch language. It's called Taal is zeg maar mijn ding. From Pauline Cornelis and in English it's like uh, language is kind of my thing. And um, it's about all kind of uh, little language snippets which uh, Pauline catches in the train and when she's in public and uh, some interesting things about the language. Out of mind. It's about a person and you're looking um, from his perspective, and um, it's about him slowly getting dementia, and you're just following uh, his story and how it goes. I think it inspired me to um, pay more attention to what people say, and not in <clears throat> not in kind of a judgy way, but more, um, yeah, really uh, try to hear what people say and uh, make some good fun out of it. I think that's a kind of little inspiring thing. Well, it made me look uh, different to people with dementia in a good sense. The most important one is um, me understanding persons with dementia and how they look uh, at the world and their um, perspective of the world. So that's really interesting. Yeah. 
So would you recommend them to others? Definitely. Yeah, I would recommend it. But I think only for Dutch people, unfortunately, because it's very in-depth of the Dutch language. My favorite book is probably Ready Player One. Uh, I don't know the exact name of the writer. My favorite book is The Donkere Kamer van de Mokers. It's about a person who goes to the war, uh, World War II, here in the Netherlands. And uh, it's about uh, refugees and the Jews. And, um, and at the end, there's a. So the story is about this guy called Wade. Uh, he lives in, sorry, 2045. The entire world at that point is addicted to this, to this uh, very realistic VR game. Um, because the real world uh, kind of fell to pieces because of a massive energy crisis. My favorite book is uh, Blauwe Maandag by uh, Arnon Grunberg. The book is about a young student and a girl and they uh, just explore the city of Amsterdam growing up there. I really like the fact that it was taking place in Amsterdam and uh, yeah, I really learned about a little bit about the history of the city, about how everything has come together in the city. I guess it did. It does make me more aware of um, that we are really consuming a lot, uh, and it makes me a bit aware of my own consumption, not only in uh, like energy or physical things, but also in uh, entertainment consumption. After I read that book, um, I did understand what people thought was so great about literature and what uh, why it was uh, a form of art. Because that, that book really changed my mind about. Um, our soul. I would recommend it to others. I would. I really would. No, I wouldn't. No, <laughs> just kidding. Yeah, I would, I would. <laughs> okay. okay, thank you very much. Yeah, of course.